it's nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you Everybody, welcome to winter. <laughs> so we got snow yesterday. Well, yesterday morning we woke up and it was completely white outside. Oh, it is actually only September 25th today. Yesterday, I'm not gonna lie, it literally put me into a funk because it just feels like the second half of our winter was just bad weather and I feel like it got wasted. Like, I'm just being real here. After we got back from our little Alaskan road trip, it rained. We had, I think we had about a week of like good weather here and then it just rained for about a month straight and then the, the weather or the, the temperature just dropped and it was like in the 50s and it was cold. So, when we got snow yesterday morning, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit, <laughs> I mean, there's nothing I can do about it, okay? I understand that, but I was definitely like not mentally prepared for it. And I was like, okay, maybe it'll melt by tomorrow. It didn't melt. It's actually still coming down quite heavily out there. So, <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like after today or tomorrow, the snow is supposed to stop and it should hopefully go away. Um, but we're still in like the 30s for temperature. It'll drop down into the 20s maybe peak into the 40s maybe a little bit but for the most part i think it's mostly here to stay one thing that i do want to do today is <laughs> make vanilla <laughs> is that what you thought i was gonna say uh if you make vanilla and you have a costco card this huge jug to make vanilla is $13. I don't know what vodka normally runs. Super cheap for making vanilla. I do think you can get some better flavors in the vanilla by using like bourbon, um, but I've never done that. So I'm gonna be making my vanilla for Christmas time. Even though Christmas is three months away, this is something that I can get started now and have it ready come Christmas time. Um, there's nothing better than actually being prepared for Christmas. Not that, not that I'll be 100% prepared, but you know, some things. <laughs> so I have a few errands that I need to get done today. So I'm gonna bring you guys along today with me and just have a normal vlog. I'm excited. <sighs> Welcome to winter in Alaska. I'm not sure if that was a frown or a smile. <laughs> say to everybody is if you've never driven in snow um, even if it's bright out please do not rely on your auto lights because most of the time they will not come on because it's bright enough um, but your headlights won't be on and it's very hard to see you especially if it's snowing and you drive a light color vehicle silver white any of that just make sure you turn your headlights on I mean no matter what color your car is but especially those colors blend in to the snow anyways that's my little PSA for today <laughs> guys this is my first stop it is Tommy G's meat and sausage um, it is a local butcher and he makes his own sausage and he has like the, he, I got this like lemon pepper chicken the other day that was like phenomenal anyways they, he has a jalapeno meat stick it's like a jalapeno pepper jack meat stick that I absolutely love I have loved all the meat sticks that I've tried um, because I'm low carb I feel like that's all I ever eat sometimes is meat sticks <laughs> I know that's not all I eat guys okay I do eat a lot of vegetables um, but they were like so so good so I'm gonna run in here I'm gonna grab some meat sticks um I just realized that they need to be refrigerated and I have other stuff to go pick up but good thing that my backpack has an insulated bottom and I can put them in there 
you want a link to my backpack, it's down below. It's Buff Bunny. Also, code Violet Vlogs if you want to check it out. If you didn't know, my sister owns Buff Bunny, which is why I have a code. All right, I'm going to head in. I'm going to go grab some beat sticks and um, show you around the shop a little bit. It is so beautiful. It's so clean in there. Here in Fairbanks, most things are kind of rustic and um, and you know there is nice places but to see like a butcher shop that probably doesn't have to put that much detail into things he they have done a wonderful job of setting the shop up making it very professional I'm gonna show you guys the it looks like stickers on the wall they have like knives um, and it looks really cool but they were hand-painted and there's like a cow on the wall that shows like the different cuts of meats and that was hand-painted too I was blown away when I came in here here last week. Looks like it's pretty cleared out right now. A bunch of people just left, so I'm gonna go check it out. So something I did not go in there for, but I saw it and I was like, oh, I have to have that. Uh, it's summer sausage with jalapeno and cheddar. It was only $13 for this, which I feel like that's a really good deal considering it was packed today. Like I've literally never had summer sausage. I'm out of washer fluid. <laughs> I've never had summer sausage that was like literally just packed today. So anyways, I think that's really cool. Here in Fairbanks, we... I don't know if we've ever had a local butcher. Uh, there is like meat processing places, but I've never seen a local butcher shop that like makes their own stuff and is very good about like picking out the meats. All right, I'm going to continue on and run my errands. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. It's, it's no secret that I love my coffee huts. This is actually a coffee hut summit coffee company. I have never been to this one. It's in a part of town that I don't really come to that often, but it's a beautiful building. It's like all black and it's got like the blue and the mountains. It's just a beautiful coffee shop that I've always wanted to try. And I was like, you know what? I'm trying to do better at supporting like the local companies and making sure that um, if I can, I can support the local shops. And and I rarely do like Starbucks or whatever, but um, I know <laughs> I know I should probably stick with one coffee hut and just go there. But I think it's fun to like try the different coffee huts. And if I'm in this part of town, why not support this one? Um, I'm just moving forward because they moved cars. Every time I have driven past this coffee hut, there's at least three cars on each side. So I, they've got to make some good coffee here. My go-to coffee is a sugar-free white chocolate Americano with cream. I am going to get decaf or um, what's called half-calf where you get like half regular, half decaf um, just because it is almost two and I've had like three cups of coffee. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I'm gonna get this. And then I do have a pickup over at Fred Meyer. Do you guys wanna see a haul on that? Should I should I show you once I get home? I feel like it's always so hectic when I get home because like the kids always help me with groceries. I have a little order and before I get any comments of like, you said you weren't gonna grocery shop for a while after your Costco haul, that Costco haul was filmed on August 19th, I believe. <laughs> So it's been a minute since I've done much shopping. I ha I do still have to do like my weekly grocery hauls. Okay, because I'm talking so much, I'm just gonna make this a really long vlog because I actually drove out. I wanted some like quiet me time and I drive outside of Fairbanks and there's this pull off that is just beautiful. Well, about a week and a half ago was a much different scene around here and it was all fall colors, like golden, beautiful. So, I'm gonna throw some drone footage and some driving footage and kind of show you my trip up there. It's not gonna be any vlogging, just gonna be the drive up there, droning, and then the drive back. So anyways, I'm gonna throw that right here. Open up the window. I'm breathing in the last of September. 
I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a giant ember amazing was that not so beautiful I know it's blowing a lot of people's minds that like we're even in fall <laughs> let alone like kind of winter right now Fairbanks definitely has less snow than North Pole did um, there but there's still patches of snow everywhere so anyways all right I'm gonna order my coffee Okay, could I buy a water as well? Yeah, no worries. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Thanks. I'm not sure why my face is so red, but we're gonna roll with it. Um, most of the coffee huts here do have food, and what I noticed about this one from the other ones was that they had other options. They had like dairy-free options, they had vegan options, they had um, like low-carb options. That was super cool because not all the coffee huts have those options and I know it is a little bit more on the baristas when they have so much they're working with. So I appreciate a place that has those type of options. I will probably stop in here. I don't even try the coffee, but <laughs> I will probably stop here more because just of the food options. It's really nice to have that. I had to take my braces out to try the coffee. So I'm going to try the coffee real quick because this is this is where it matters. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's really, really good coffee. Wow. And it's like mixed. There is one coffee shop here that I don't really like going to. Like I want to support them, but every time I've had a drink from them, they like don't stir the syrup. So it's on the bottom or the powder or whatever. And and I've messaged them before and been like, hey, just wanna let you guys know, and then I still get them like that. So um, I appreciate a perfectly mixed, good coffee. That, that sounded really ranty, I'm really not that negative, but that's what I think about is like, the, the flavor has to be mixed in, all of that. It's gotta hit those points, you know? And um, this is probably one of the best coffees I've had, so. I like coffee that still tastes like coffee. Uh, I don't like, just pure sugar I don't like overly sweet stuff so I don't know that gives you like a an idea of what I like okay I'm gonna go pick up my groceries this is much better lighting I should have just parked here <laughs> I'm gonna go pick up my groceries and then probably head home I think that's all I kind of came out for so all right let's head over to my favorite Fred Meyers I just say I love this cup so much I know this cost this coffee hut extra money to have these like pretty cups with their name and their logo on them and I just have to say that I love it like I love the extra touches that are put on it it is it's Americano so it's very hot but it just that that cup is beautiful it's so Alaskan I just love the whole thing about it what I've been trying to do on Instagram if you don't follow me there go follow me now um, <laughs> But I've been trying to kind of review these local places, not always coffee huts. Um, I went into Tommy G's and I kind of like talked about what I got from there and um, any restaurants I go to, basically anything like food related and or coffee related. I kind of talk about my experience there. Anyways, kids, just go follow me on Instagram so you are there for the next ones. I thought I was recording that whole time where I just went and got the, gro well, I helped her put the groceries in. Anyways, um, she... <laughs> 
<laughs> I went to go get back in the car and I normally have an armrest right here and it was up and I went to go like lean in and almost about bash my face into my center console. <laughs> that was a good time. <laughs> Too bad I didn't get that on there for you. Make y'all laugh. Okay, okay, so I had text Lance and I was like, hey, should I get some steaks over at Tommy G's? And he was like, no, we haven't seasoned our cast iron. But now he wants steaks to season a cast iron, but we don't wanna waste like really good steaks on seasoning a cast iron. How many times can I say that? Lance got me a cast iron and I think it's pre-seasoned, but you're supposed to still season them or something. I don't know, they're very intimidating to me. I've never used it. I think he got it for me probably a year ago or for Christmas or something and I still have not used it because I'm so intimidated by it. And um, <clears throat> there's like so many rules of using it that stresses me out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some steaks to season them, I think, is what you're supposed to do. I don't know, I don't know. Please don't yell at me if I'm doing it wrong, but uh, I think that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's run into Fred Meyers. We haven't done that in a long time and it's all the way at the back. So you guys get to see a little bit of Fred Meyers. I'm gonna grab a cart because if I don't grab a cart, then I'm gonna need a cart. Okay, somebody's parked next to me and they see me talking to a camera. I have like relearned the anxiety of vlogging in public because it's been so long since I've done it that I'm like super uncomfortable. I meant to get so much more footage in Tommy G's, but I got super nervous. I'm kind of a natural introvert. And so like, I kind of just like, <laughs> get in get out but I did want to show you guys a little bit so I'm a little bummed I didn't get as much footage as I wanted to to show his beautiful store okay anyways all right who's tired of hearing me talk <laughs> okay I just went on live on Instagram I have really enjoyed hanging out Instagram has been I'm gonna shut this for a second I feel like it's really loud out there I truly love Instagram like I spend way more time on Instagram than I do like YouTube stuff because it's not one-sided like when I vlog I enjoy vlogging but I don't get to see you guys. I don't get to chat with you guys here. Um, I do get to reply to comments and I do get to see your comments, but Instagram is so more, so much more personal. And I get to see, and I kind of like build a relationship with that person. And I just really love that. So uh, anyways, I just went live for a few minutes because Fred Meyer's parking lot is kind of my place to do that. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's go get some steaks. needed some bubble wrap for packing some stuff away or possibly selling on eBay. He's got like these antique Chevron cars that he bought a while ago. <laughs> Anyways, um, he wanted bubble wrap for that. So good thing I came in here because I was supposed to stop for it anyways. <laughs> many people in there oh why did i pick saturday to do this um i picked saturday because it snowed yesterday and everybody took all the slots for the pickups <laughs> so i had to pick today anyways uh the coffee clearly did something to me and i'm like overly stimulated so i'm gonna go run like a marathon and get this out of my system i think all right i'm gonna head home get these groceries home and Yes, let's go. <laughs> All 
right, so I like to show you guys what I get from Fred Meyers. This, I did not plan to even vlog this grocery run. This is literally just stuff we need. Again, no judgment for what, <laughs> what we buy, but um, this is actually a halfway healthy run, I think, at least for us, but I'm not gonna lay it all out, but I am gonna go through the bags before I bring them in. I just set them here because it is winter time now. I'm just, I just set all the bags here and I was gonna bring them in and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do a quick run through for you guys of what all we got today. So here goes. All right, we got a loaf of bread here. We have these lavender sweet vanilla grocery bags. They smell amazing. We have relish, corn. I plan to make some um, cornbread pudding for dinner one night. That's chicken broth for a meal. Fajita mix, one box of this because I already have one. We eat two of these at a time. <laughs> Your grocery order is here. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, can you just bring it inside? <laughs> That'll be an extra tip. That's fine. All right, um, we have one milligram melatonin. Lance uses this for work on work nights normally. We have Cheez-Its. We have these little, I call them squeeze packs, Addison's favorite. I am going to be making some pumpkin muffin type things and I needed coconut flour and then I got some almond flour. I got a couple boxes of Jiffy over there. I know this is sporadic guys. Um, if you don't know, Rhodes makes these warm and serve rolls that taste literally like homemade rolls in like 10 minutes they're amazing we have a couple things of regular milk we have almond milk because we have two that cannot have dairy we have blueberry light and fit yogurt we have vanilla light and fit yogurt three rolls of croissants because i'm gonna make a chicken pot pie with those some butter more yogurts because my kids love these this is the peach yogurt another peach we have sour cream we have whipped cream this is the coffee creamer that I use. It's an oat milk creamer, gluten-free. Um, I'm not gluten-free completely, but gluten does not work well with me. I have a thing of heavy cream because we're going to do some butter chicken. I have some chicken. I have ground beef, 93%. That's my favorite. I have some bell peppers. I have grapes. I have a random bell pepper. I have a bag of broccoli, some shredded coconut down there, a thing of potatoes, and another thing of original almond milk. I know that was not the most professional way to show you my groceries, but the most realistic for me. <laughs> so it's about the only way I can do it. My house is a disaster. There's a neighborhood kid over. I'm not gonna make them all be quiet so I can like show you guys all this. So there it is, that's what I got. <laughs> All right, I had to sit for a few minutes and collect myself. <laughs> that coffee was a little bit much. Probably shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. I am going to try to use my cast iron to make these steaks. Um, I got steak strips for the kids just because I'm already cutting their steak anyways, and there's more edges for them to have that like crisp layer. I don't know. I'm going to test it out on <laughs> the kids' steak strips first. Like I said, I've never used my cast iron pan and it's been so intimidating, but I think I just need to do it. I'm pretty certain that this is a pre-seasoned cast iron dish. Um, I'm gonna let the steaks sit out because I guess you're not supposed to cook cold steaks. <laughs> I don't know much about this stuff, guys. Like I do do a lot of cooking and baking and all that, but um, steaks is not something I cook very often. I don't even know if I've ever cooked steaks, actually. Lance normally does it on the grill, and I've wanted to, but they're just stressful to me because they're like, you only have like that small window to pull them off, otherwise they're just overdone, and they've just intimidated me a little bit. I am going to make green beans, and then I'm gonna make those frozen rolls. I'll show you guys like how easy they are, and they love them. I like having stuff like that because I am eating lower-ish carb and they are not. So I'll make like a pretty low carb meal and then they still get their roll on the side. It ends up working out perfect.
so cooking with a cast iron was a little more difficult to like vlog so i kind of had to just get a little bit of footage here and there for you guys i think i'm going to enjoy it but it's definitely gonna be a learning curve. So the steaks were really good. The kids were really good and theirs were like cheaper steaks. Um, I ended up cutting theirs into like little steak bits and then cooking it that way. And it was, theirs was like phenomenal. It's definitely gonna be something that I get better at. Um, it was definitely edible. It wasn't like the best steak I've ever had, but I definitely has potential to be the best steak I've ever had because it was really good. So. I'm excited for that. All right, I know this vlog is so long, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna be doing with my vanilla. It is super easy. If you wanna do this for Christmas time, now is the time to get it going because it can, it can soak for as long as you want. It's one of those like set it and forget it type gifts. What I got for mine was 20 vanilla beans. They don't have to be anything fancy. I got the cheapest vanilla beans off of Amazon. I am going to link everything down below if you wanna go find it. I got everything off of Amazon except for the vodka, that's from Costco. What you're gonna need is about 20 vanilla beans, a large thing of vodka. A husband? <laughs> okay, you actually don't Not have required. You don't have to have one of those. Not required. <laughs> I got these jars off of Amazon just because they were like cheaper and they're kind of more fun, uh, like vanilla-y type ones that you can kind of pop open pour and then pop the cap back on. I thought these were really cute. Bougie vanilla. <laughs> this is like top shelf. Top shelf. Actually, I think bourbon would be better. This ain't McCormick. This is <laughs> violet vanilla. Violet vanilla, there we go. <laughs> All right, so the other thing I got were these stickers. Um, they say, homemade vanilla extract, Merry Christmas. I, you could probably make these and print them out if you have the capability. I, I do think this was like $10 or something for these stickers, but you don't have to do those. You can put a bow on them and just do the jars and people love it just as much. I love leaving like one vanilla bean in each jar just for like decorative purposes and then like you know what it is. I don't know, I think it's pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. You're just going to take your vanilla beans and I cut them open because it lets the like vanilla caviar out of the vanilla beans. I slice them right down the middle and then just prop them into the, the vodka and I let them soak. And um, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna show you one that's completely done and ready for Christmas. Okay, so I said I cut them in half, but really I just like slice them down the middle. It doesn't matter how much you slice them. I feel like it gives the vanilla more flavor or maybe flavor faster. All right, so I got these all sliced up. I'm gonna go ahead and dump them in the vanilla and give it a few shakes. And that's about it. <laughs> going to look like it's going to look pretty clear and if you look close you can see little bits of that vanilla caviar floating around in there and I actually had leftover beans last year so I get to show you what it's gonna look like in a few weeks look how dark now this has been sitting for like I mean I think almost a year it'll probably be a year in December I think I made made my vanilla in December and then what I did was I just got another bottle of vodka and I added it to the beans that I already had. This is actually not enough for the gifts that I wanna do this Christmas, so that's why I went ahead and made another one. I leave mine unfiltered um, as you, I'm not sure if you can tell, but like the beans are still in there. It's so dark, there's one sticking out. Um, I leave the beans in there and there is little bits of that vanilla caviar in there. Now, if you don't want that and you want it completely smooth, you could just 
um, take a coffee filter and filter it out and you won't have that. I'm gonna go ahead and fill one of the little jars and put a sticker on it and then it will be ready for Christmas whenever I decide to do that. So I just opened this box of jars and they actually had like the little chalk stickers with them along with like a, a little marker to write a funnel. It's a good thing that I'm making more vanilla because these jars are a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. So people will have vanilla throughout the whole year. My mom has had to like refill hers. Like I've refilled it because I had that massive thing. Um, but anyways, all right, how do these work? Must be smarter than the jar. How does one, how does this work? Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's get one filled and sticker slapped on it for Christmas. There it is perfect little gift for Christmas. Um, you could just use the stickers that came with it and put vanilla on the front of it and a little bow and it'd be perfect. So in the next video, I'm gonna give the little health update I've been talking about for a little while, probably mostly on Instagram, but I have some health issues going on. I'm gonna go ahead and update in the next video because this one is already pretty long. We're gonna go do a family movie night. We're gonna watch a movie, eat popcorn, maybe some ice cream and just enjoy the night. So I'm gonna put this camera away. Thank you guys for coming along today on my just little normal vlog day. Hit that like hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!